Y'all show some love, clap it up for the one and only Halani Broderick coming to the stage! Give it up for him, y'all! Give it up for him! Yeah! What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hey, y'all make some noise. Yes! Hey, y'all, we're coming out tonight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my name is Halani Broderick, I'll be hosting tonight. It's my first time hosting a comedy show, so give it up for me. chosen as the best comedian for the audience. So just so you know, if you're a comedian right now, it's the same thing's gonna happen for you. I'm gonna pull up all the comedians at the end of the show. Whoever gets the loudest applause from the audience will host next week's show. So be on your A game. I'm just saying, be on your A game. All right, so uh, when I was hosting, when I found out I was hosting, right, I went to my phone, I was texting up all the comedians that I know, saying, hey man, I'm hosting at 10 ATL, can you make it? Some people were like, yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. I texted to somebody else. I said, hey man, I'm toast. I mean, I'm hosting at 10 ATL. And she said, like, I did a plan, but I might be able to make it. And then I texted one of my, uh, one of my inspirations in comedy. His name is Mark Henderson. I said, hey Mark, I'm hosting at 10 ATL. Can you make it? He said, bro, I moved to New York. I said, oh, well, um, good luck in all your future endeavors. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all ready to get this show started? All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um, how y'all enjoying the comedian so far? I make a round of applause for the comedian so far. Yes. Alright. I gotta, I gotta tell y'all something. I gotta tell y'all something. So, I'm in the Army National Guard, y'all. Give it up for the Army. And I told for my Army co-workers that uh, I was gonna do stand-up. Yeah. And they showed up for me. Just know there are some there's some soldiers in the skies in the room right now. And uh, I really appreciate them. I gotta give them a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just gotta give them a shout out, y'all. So give it up for the ladies in the house. Give it up for the ladies in the house. Give it up for the ladies in the house. Yes. So I wrote a song. I wrote a song about black women hair. Because black women be changing their hair all the time. You know what I'm saying? So it goes like this. It's short, then it's long, then 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 it's red, blue, black, then it's long, then it's back to a place where it belongs on the road again, and cold then it's short, then it's long, then it's short, then it's long, then it's short, then it's short, then it's short, then it's short, then it's long, then it's red, blue, black, then it's blown. Because that's pretty much the truth. That's pretty much what they can do. That's pretty much how it goes down. All right, guys, we'll bring up the next comedian, y'all. I know y'all gonna enjoy him. Y'all give it up for the comedian of the night, Patrick Seals. Give it up for Patrick Seals, y'all. Give it up for the next comedian, y'all. I know y'all gonna enjoy him. Y'all give it up for Patrick Seals, y'all. with a cougar. And I'm not. I like it. I like it with my age. It's just me though. All right, this next comedian coming to the stage. Uh, he's from the Midwest. He's a white dude. And for the last six months, he's been um, trying to figure out this magical place called Wakanda, also known as Atlanta. Y'all give it up for Gabe McIntyre. Yeah, um, I know you're trying to get on my shirt, but I went on Amazon and typed in cool African shirt and this came up, so that's why, that's why I'm wearing it right now. I'm saying, they want to be in that world, they be cool, you know what I'm saying? Hey, gotta go with what Amazon says. Alright, this next comedian I'm bringing to the stage, y'all. Uh, I've had the privilege of being introduced by him at another comedy show that he does in the Tito's Lounge in Douglasville. If you don't know where that's at, because it's far as hell, it's very far. It's a drive. I drive out there just for him. I'm going to introduce him the way he be doing me. Y'all put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together for me! y'all! The first time, first time I walked in this room, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, I didn't do well. But um, I must have got better because I'm hosting the show now, so I appreciate like I appreciate the process. You know what I'm saying? The process is always you gotta trust the process. You gotta trust the process. So when I walk in this room, the first thing I notice is the black leaders in the walk. You got Barack Obama, Michelle Obama over there. You got Gandhi, Muhammad Ali. That used to be a picture of Prince. Now I'm CeeLo Green, which doesn't make any sense to me because I never heard anybody say who's better, Michael Jackson or CeeLo. And that's like that's never happened. You had Prince's conversation, but we all know Michael Jackson's still better than Prince. I'll fight anybody on that. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, y'all, y'all next comedian, y'all, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for me. You don't see the microphone was working. The microphone was working. Yeah. 
Oh, like, yeah. Don't talk about like that song. I'm hurt. I want you to keep it going. Hey, next time you play Michael Jackson when I come up here, I've always had a dream of coming out to Michael Jackson and letting him play for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you rock my world or something? Just saying. Anyway, this next comedian I'm bringing to the stage, uh, he's introduced me, he actually introduced me to a show yesterday, uh, believe it or not, at the Tito's Night in Douglasville. Y'all, put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together for my man, Lotto. Uh, Jamaican jokes. <laughs> Jamaican jokes. So, 
you know, when my son said he's doing comedy every night, you know, we rehearse, and I'm like, okay, son, this this is this is some tips and whatever. But me, I'm a teacher. You're not gonna hear me talk about eating uh, butts and stuff. Because if the video goes viral, whoo, I might lose my nine to five. So I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, three Jamaican, three. A Jamaican and a, uh, an American goes into a store. So the black American says to him, hey, I'm the best thief, man. I used to do this since I was little. And he says, I'm going to go in here and, 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 and thief three candy bars. Jamaican guy says, OK, go ahead. Let me see you do it. So the Jamaican guy goes in, and he says, the guy swipes the three bars, and he puts it in his pocket. The Jamaican goes up to the, to the cashier and says, hey, I'm going to show you a trick. And the lady says, okay, says, pass me a, 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 a candy bar. She gives it to me, eats it. Said, pass me another one. She gives it to me, eats it. Pass me another one. And the lady says, hey, wait a minute, you didn't eat no candy bars here. And he says, here's a trick. And he snaps his finger and he says, Call that guy over, you'll find the three candy bars. Don't ask me how I did it. Yes. All right, give it up, 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 First time for everything. I didn't think I was gonna introduce my dad today. today. That's what happened. Your life is all full of surprises. All right, y'all keep it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Be your next comedian, y'all. Give it up for Carter, y'all. Woo! Yeah. Uh, uh, you want to give me things that can rap? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got some stuff too. See y'all. Always, see y'all. Uh, Always on top of my rhymes, always on the grind, going out to get what's already predestined to be mine. I'm going with the flow, playing life like a piano, or doing what I do when I'm on the go. As I'm close to the show, y'all. Give it up for me, give it up for me, give it up for me. Right off the top, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Hold on, I'm gonna move on next. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, right, 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 right. I got it, I got it. Yo, keep it going for my man, Alan, y'all. Um, give it up for Halani, you're doing an amazing thing. And let me tell you, when you lit your father and it was time for him to shut up and get off stage, I feel like I'm going to do that to my mom the next time we talk. I'm like, I'm just going to light you. So what's that mean? It's time. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Give it up for her. got 30 minutes. <laughs> give it up. Give it up for her. 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 Make sure I know what's going on next. All right, y'all ready for y'all's headlines? Y'all ready for y'all's headlines? It's your last one, y'all. Y'all ready for y'all's headlines? Okay. Oh, all right, hold on. We have one more comedian for the headline. For, um, yeah, we got one more comedian for the headline chain of players. Y'all keep it going for Jay Scott, y'all. Now it's time for the headline, y'all. All right, so. This one right here, what can I tell about her? Um, she changed my life in the world of comedy, basically. Uh, Cause without her, I would never would have found out about this place. Y'all, put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together for the headliner, Renata Sophie! Give it up one more time for the money, y'all. You did such a great job. Honestly, two years in, like, look at it. He put like honestly, I would want him to host next week again because I don't think anybody else can put that effort into it, and I just really appreciate that. But that's you know that's me, and that's not what I created with New Jack City. We're gonna keep giving the opportunity to other people, but I'm very proud of you. And my dad has never seen me do stand up. Aww. I wanted my dad to teach me how to do the drums. And <laughs> No, real shit, like, my dad's never seen you stand up, so shout out to you having that experience. Hell yeah! And your dad being a part of that and supporting you and being proud of you, so shout out to you. Um, and all the other comedians that have performed, so um, let's see who's going to be the next up for next week. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know a lot of us here, I don't know how we're going to do this. This is something new that we're doing. He's ready. He's ready. Go ahead, yeah. All right, I need every comedian that is still here to come up here, please. Every comedian, every comedian. 
I mean, everybody that is still in the meeting that wants the opportunity to host next week, if you don't want the opportunity to host next week, say it's in. But everybody else, I need everybody else to come up here, please. All right, let's see, this is gonna be a long one. I gotta stand up here. All right, so, let's see, who's still left in the audience? We got some people. All right, so what's gonna happen is, whoever gets the loudest applause is going to host next week's show. All right, so I'm gonna go around the line and put my hand over everybody's head. When I put my hand over their head, it's your chance to applaud for them. We got, we got Jacob first. All right, here we go. What do you think? Woo! All right, moving on. We got Tom right here. All right, moving on. Y'all can, y'all can uh, go ahead and be seated. Um, Mitch. All right, see bear Yusuf Gray. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been the same. Alicia Bridges. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, all right. Tony Love. Yeah. All right, and we got Nate Z. Yeah. All right, everybody except for Alicia Bridges and Tony Love stay up here. All right, we're going to do this one more time. No. No, you Tony Love. Show at 10 ATL, y'all yeah, be wanna come again. She's gonna be the host next time. It's been a, it's been a fun night. Now my name is Solani Brown. It was great to be the host. And uh, y'all have a safe drive home. Peace out.